What a coincidence. I was wondering where I might be able to find you, and here you are. <laughs> well, can't I come and see you when nothing is up? All right, as much as I'd like to sit and chat with you, this time I'm here mainly for Klee. Before bringing Klee here, I told her many stories about Inazuma. It got her very excited to experience the local culture here. However, I've got other things to do in Inazuma this time besides painting the portraits of the Five Kasen. Over the next couple of days, I won't have the time to show her around. Inazuma is not like Mondstadt. I can't just let Klee wander off by herself when I'm busy with other things. So I had to have her stay at the International Trade Association while I finish my work. She hasn't complained, but I can tell she's not enjoying being stuck there on her own. Fortunately, I now have you and Paimon. So, uh... Yay! Mr. Honorary Knight's here! What you talking about, Mr. Honorary Knight? Are we gonna go play? Yeah! Um, but Albedo is really busy. I can't go too far away or he'll be worried about me. Aw, Klee, you're such a thoughtful kid. Ah! Paimon's a very thoughtful, thank you very much. Paimon always thinks of you whenever she's eating a delicious slime. Anyway, it is pretty cruel not to let Klee go out when she was so excited to come here. Yep, yep. Allow the almighty traveler and dependable Paimon to bring Klee on a tour of Inazuma. Klee? Do you want to go play with Mr. Honorary Knight? Yay! You bet I do! As you know, Klee is our Spark Knight. You must keep her safe and sound. <clears throat> By which I mean, uh... <clears throat> Try to keep her out of trouble. For instance, if a mountain in Inazuma was to lose one of its peaks, or if there were an explosion somewhere in the city, Klee could very well get in trouble. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I promise I'll bring you back an awesome souvenir, Mr. Albedo. Great. I look forward to it. There are loads of cool things to do in Inazuma. Try the local cuisine, visit a shrine. What do you want to do, Klee? Cuisine? What's that? You know, food and drink. I mean, just meant we could take you to a local restaurant. A restaurant? Yay! Snack time! Got it! All right, snack time it is! Let's go! Thank you for taking care of Klee. I heard lighting fires is strictly prohibited in both Rito and Inazuma during the Irodori festival. Please keep a close watch on her. Klee's already run off. You'd better catch up with her. Actually. Oh, so, um, what are those yellow and red thingies on that plate? You're kidding, right? Those are tri-flavored skewers. Mmm, and what about this little yellow cake? That's an egg roll. They're amazing. Have you really not tried one before? Wow, tonkotsu ramen, tri-flavored skewers, and egg rolls. <laughs> they all sound delicious. <laughs> they sure are. Guess you're not from around here if you haven't tried any of these before. Let me buy you an egg roll with my allowance so you can get a taste of our Inazuman food. Really? But Master Jean said I shouldn't go taking other people's things. Also, that's 
your allowance, right? Taking another kid's allowance just seems kind of wrong. Oh, I remember you. You're your Mia's friend. How come you know how to make egg rolls? Egg rolls are a piece of cake for this guy. Why don't you make some for Cree and Iwo? Uh, really? Wow, Paimon is so touched! You're learning! Alright, we'll be waiting on those egg rolls. Special Yakuts. Special yakitori for sale. Come and try some. Mr. Honorary Knight, what do egg rolls taste like? Wow! You really can cook them. You're awesome, mister. Mmm, it's sweet. So yummy. Yep, yep. It's delicious. Traveler, you are the best. Yeah, these egg rolls are pretty good, but I still think Yoimiya's are better. Hmm? Who is Yoimiya? She makes egg rolls too? Yoimiya can do anything. She tells stories, keeps goldfish, makes fireworks, and gives us candy too. Yoimiya's pretty much the best and most awesome person ever. For me, the best, most awesome person in the world is my mom. And Klee knows loads of other great people, too. Like Mr. Albedo, Mr. Honorary Knight, Master Jean, Kaya. Uh, uh, surely she's not going to name everyone she knows. Uh, oh, well, I don't know any of those people. But anyways, I still want to introduce you to Yoimiya. If you want, I'll take you to find her. In most festivals, Yoimiya's so busy that you can never find her. But this festival's different. She has free time, so she can play with us. She seems like she hasn't been in a great mood recently. But maybe seeing you will cheer her up. Okay, let's go play with Yoimiya. Special Yakutori. Wouldn't gliding be faster? <laughs> Here we go! Something that'll cheer you up. Yesterday, I won three beetle fights in a row against that guy with the horns on his head. Wow, Matsuzaka. Nice work. It's not easy to beat Ito. Don't worry, Yoimiya. Maybe you can't light fireworks during the Iridori Festival, but there are still lots of other fun things to do. I know. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. It's just that fireworks are banned in the city for a few days. I'm not that upset, really. Yoimiya, it's me! I want to introduce you to a new friend, an Outlander girl. I just met her. Wait, what's your name again? <laughs> Klee. My name is Klee. Nice to meet you, Klee. I'm Yoimiya, and I run Naganahara Fireworks. Um, <laughs> hello. I love the cute outfit, with the hat and the cool little symbols. So unique! And your backpack, wow, it's really well made. 
That's a four-leaf clover. Mom and Master Jean said it can bring me good luck. Really? That's awesome! I bet everyone would love one of those. Also, that little fairy on your backpack is super cute, too. <laughs> That's Dodoko, my best friend. We always go fish blasting together in Starfell Lake. Oh, Dodoko? What an interesting name. I really like it. Yep. My mom says that when a Dodoko is born, it rides the wind and goes off on a big adventure. <laughs> Ride the wind and go off on a big adventure? Klee, your mom sounds like a very cool person. Yep, my mom is the best and most awesome person ever. And Yoimiya, Iwao was right. You're a really cool person too. <laughs> Thanks, Klee. I feel like we really get each other. We'll be great friends, I'm sure of it. Uh, it's so heartwarming watching these two chat away. Hey, Klee, since you like four-leaf clover so much, why don't I make a firework with a four-leaf clover pattern and set it off for you? <gasps> yeah, and after the fireworks, we can go fish blasting with Dodoko. Uh, hold on a second, fish blasting? <laughs> no way, Albedo was pretty clear about that. Oh, oops. I got so excited that I completely forgot about that. The folks from the Yashiro Commission specifically warned me that no fireworks are allowed in Inazuma during the Iridori Festival. What? It's not allowed? But... Aww. <sighs> okay, then. Hey, come on! He just made a new friend! This is a happy occasion! Why are you suddenly so upset? Yeah! We still have loads of things we can do! Right! Just like Saika said, there are lots of fun things to do! What do you say, Klee? Sounds like the Iridori Festival could be a real blast! <laughs> okay then, let's go! It's alright. I know Yoi Mia is upset because she can't light any fireworks. You should go with her to the Iridori Festival. I'm gonna take my strongest Oni Kabuto and go beat that guy with the. I still don't get why Yoi Mia is upset. Uh, dummy, Yoi and Mia is upset because she can't set off fireworks for everyone during the Iridori Festival. Brigade. When the wind of death blew towards the blonde samurai? Oh, what a long name. Must be a new one. I've never heard of it. Hmm. By Kawabanga Iki. <laughs> Yomiya, this is a really strange name. Who's this Kawabanga? It's pronounced Kayabuki Ike. <laughs> that would be me. Outlander Brigade is a new series of mine, and When the Wind of Death Blew Towards the Blonde Samurai is the first volume. Mm, Outlander's big grade? Um, is it a story about the best of friends? Kaya says that every good story has to have best friends in it. Absolutely not! I would never allow such cliches in one of my novels! This is a book about betrayal, blood, and tears. A long and lonely struggle. A stubborn samurai's path to the truth. This is the kind of story that needs to be told. Oh, is that right? Well, I'm not sure that's a very, uh, suitable story for Klee. Um, we might keep looking around. Hey, miss! Don't go! Are you sure you don't want a copy? I'll give you 40% off! Flowers 
is for Princess Fischl. Oh, look! It's Fischl's story! That's right! Flowers for Princess Fischl. Have you read this book before, Clee? <laughs> nope. But I know Fischl's story. Fischl always hangs out with Oz. Everyone in the Adventures Guild knows. It's just like how me and Dodoko are always together. Hmm. I wonder if Dodoko is getting bored now. Oh, Klee, I'm afraid it can't be helped. There are a lot of flammable items at the festival, and we have to be careful not to start a fire. Darn. It seems like even the Iridori Festival can't cheer Klee and you and me up. Mm. There must be plenty of things you can do with Dodoko besides lighting fireworks and going fish blasting. Yeah, like, um, I... Wait, so that's what you're suggesting? That's right! The Iridori Festival is a place for putting your work on display. You could show Dodoko's story for everyone here! Bingo! What do you think of that idea, Klee? Mm, Mr. Albedo taught me how to paint. I can paint the story of Dodoko's adventure in Inazuma. That's very imaginative. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> we could even put the finished story on display at the festival. <gasps> Yay, great! Dodoko will be so happy. Perfect. Okay, so I have some paper, paintbrushes, and paint at the shop. Let's go to the shop and paint your story there. <laughs> Yay! Let's go, let's go! Those two can run so fast when they're motivated. We better catch up. Thanks for your support. Jumping in puddles and see who can make the biggest splash. Clee and I just had a discussion, and we've decided. We're going to keep the content of the story a secret from you guys, for now. <laughs> Obviously, I can't tell you why. Or... <clears throat> you'll see. Don't worry. You can keep exploring the festival while we're busy in the shop. We'll be here when you get back. Come on, Yoimiya. We should get going. Let's go inside and start painting. that we could all paint together. So unfair. <laughs> Actually, Paimon's got an idea. Come on, let's go around to the windows and take a sneaky peek. No, I think it's fine. So, what does Dodoko do after getting to Inazuma? Hmm... Dodoko goes to eat tri-flavored skewers, tonkatsu ramen, and egg rolls. Ooh, that sounds great! Is that what you're painting? It looks beautiful! Once you're done painting, let's go get it printed. We'll print a whole bunch of copies and go hand them out at the festival. Hmm, although it'll cost a lot of more to get it printed. Uh, let me see if I've got enough saved up. It's okay, Yoimiya. I have some more. Look! Uh, 50 more is probably not quite enough. Well, if we don't have enough, we can ask the Traveler for ideas. Mr. Honorary Knight has helped a lot already. I don't want to trouble him. So, I think I should just go fish blasting to earn some more. Mm, no fish blasting. Paimon and the Traveler said so. Oh, then we've got no choice. We'll have to go see Mr. Albedo. 
Who's Mr. Albedo? He's my older brother. He's super duper smart. He can do anything. And he knows how to paint, too. He paints Hilly Charles, Kaya, and even Dodoko. That's why he came to Inazuma this time, to do paintings for everyone. Oh, is that right? Then I guess Mr. Albedo must be an artist working with the AI Publishing House. An artist? Oh, that means he has two jobs. One as an alchemist, teaching sucrose alchemy, and the other as an artist, doing paintings for people. Yoimiya, let me show you something. Mr. Albedo taught me you can paint Todoko's color like this. Wow! I can see the resemblance. All right, I'll paint the streets, and Klee, you fill in Dodoko's colors. Hey, you can even write the story over here to explain what's happening in the painting. Okay, let's write this. Oh, mm-hmm. Shoot! Paimon didn't hear the last part. Dodoko sure had a lot of fun in Inazuma. Those two sound like they really did go on an adventure with Dodoko. They couldn't be happier. Now, we have to get Dodoko's story printed. Come on, let's go to the eye publishing house. Here we are. This is the Yai Publishing House. Yai Publishing House? Ooh, it's Auntie Aratani. I know Auntie Aratani. <laughs> auntie? <laughs> Who's that calling me Auntie? Oh, it's the little girl who came with Mr. Calx. How can I help you, little girl? Auntie Aratani, can you help me get Dodoko's story printed so that everybody can see it? Dodoko? Oh, so you've been writing a story, huh? Is Dodoko the main character? Not only that, Dodoko is also real. Look! Uh huh? I don't quite understand. We better explain this to her. Oh, I'd love to help you make this wish come true, but I'm sorry. The deadline has passed for accepting printing orders for the Iridori Festival. Auntie, are you saying Dodoko won't be able to meet everyone after all? Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. <laughs> oh, Klee, don't be upset. You still have me and the Traveler. We'll think of something. Um, Miss Aratani, is there any way at all we can still get this printed? We can pay extra. And if you're short on staff to help with the printing, I can pitch in. Uh, Miss Yoimiya, I understand your sentiment, but I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. We've been printing many people's personal works for this festival, and a lot of the books are already well behind schedule. The printing press is already working overtime to try and catch up. At a time like this, we really can't squeeze any more jobs in. What do we do? Seems like we might have to give up on this idea. No, I won't let that happen. I remember this one time when I was little. Pop said he'd take me to the festival, but he was so busy with work that he forgot all about it. I waited and waited and kept wondering when Pops was finally going to take me there. Eventually... People started coming home from the festival. That night, I cried miserably. Uh, to this day, I still remember how sad I felt. I don't want Klee to feel the same way. If we can't get it printed, then we'll just have to find our own way. I can paint. Over the next few days, I'll paint as many as I can. Then, we'll take those to the festival. My, my. Yoimiya has quite a determined spirit. I like it very much. And I'll be there too! We heard everything. Oh, Lady Ai! It's okay, I know. You were just following the rules. 
Plus, we really are quite behind schedule with the printing. But our mission at Yai Publishing House is to bring dreams and happiness to the masses. It would be a crying shame if we couldn't even help one adorable little girl fulfill her wish. Let me think. Oh, I know. Yoimiya, little girl, you can print your book, but on one condition, okay? Of course, Lady Guji. Uh, just tell us. Whatever this condition is, I am ready to face it. Dear me, it's nothing that horrendous. You make it sound like I'm some sort of wicked witch. All I mean is, if you want to get your work printed now, there is only one way. You have to combine it with another print. However, there is only a small amount of space remaining in the book in question. Your book is too big, so you have to reduce it to about half the size to make it fit. Is this a sacrifice that you're willing to make? Klee, Lady Guji is saying that we can print the book if we shrink it to half the size. Are you okay with that? Yup, I am! Thanks, Miss Guji Lady! <laughs> what an adorable little girl! Well, that settles it. Aratani, make sure it gets printed with tonight's batch. Yes, Lady I. I'll get right on it. Combining the prints is a plausible solution, but it'll cause a lot of extra work for the printing press. I am terribly sorry about that. No problem. Just think of it as my greeting gift for little Klee. Besides, the Yai Publishing House will need your help with the illustrations again next time, Mr. Calx. You could also consider it as my investment in you, hmm? All right, I won't disturb you two any longer. Bye-bye now. Yay! Everything worked out perfectly. Now, we just need to wait for an update from the Yai Publishing House. Yui Mia, Traveler. Thank you for keeping Klee so exceptionally well entertained for me. <laughs> no worries. Yes, you're right. Klee is family, after all. Tani brought us Toloko's story. Now we can finally see what secrets Klee and Yoimiya were keeping from us. Oh, it's really nothing that exciting. It's the story of Toloko and me. And me. And you guys.
Booted Paimon. This is the story of everyone's big happy adventure with Dodo Co. This story is Mia Nui Mia's gift for Mr. Honorary Knight. Lady Yai wanted me to inform you that since this book was printed together with another work, there are many more copies than you may have anticipated. We won't charge you a printing fee, but in exchange, the extra copies of your book will be included as a free gift with purchases of the other book. Is that okay with you? Oh, are you sure? I mean, it's fine by us. But what does the author of the book think? Actually, the book that yours was printed with is called the Tevat Travel Guide. <gasps> hey, that's Mommy's book! So, Klee's mother is a writer? Huh. Klee's mother, Alice, is a renowned adventurer in Tevat, and the Inazuma edition of her popular Tevat Travel Guide series is set to be released imminently. Lady Yae has already decided on how to promote it. A joint endeavor by Tevat's biggest and best mother-daughter adventure duo. It's sure to be a huge hit. Uh, Paimon knew it! Miko would never do anything for free! <laughs> a typical move by Lady Yai. It works out well for everybody, doesn't it? Yep! I'm super happy because my book gets to be released together with Mommy's book! It's like me and Mommy going on an adventure together! Oh, I'm so glad I came! The Iridori Festival is the best! <laughs> Don't miss the Yahoo! <laughs> 